An underground city is a series of linked up underground areas. I don't have much of an intro to this video other than that. So, yeah. 10 most epic underground cities. Deep inside the Waliska salt mine in Poland is a huge underground city. As the miners often spend their whole lives working underground, they carved out dozens of statues and four chapels within the mine. They also carved out three kilometers of corridors, over 20 chambers, and even a tavern, which makes sense, miners love alcohol. The most impressive part of the city is the Chapel of St. King, which is visited by around 1 million people each year. The city also features an underground lake, and according to local mythology, a family of goblins live on an artificial island in the middle of the lake. The mine was built in the 13th century and produced salt from then until 2007. Many of the statues in the mine depict mythical creatures, so it sounds like a fun place, apart from all the drunk tourists. Below the streets of Beijing is a huge underground city. Built by Chairman Mao during the 1970s, its purpose was to house the population of Beijing in the event of a nuclear war with the Soviet Union. Stretching 85 square kilometers, it is often referred to as the Underground Great Wall. It was constructed by over 300,000 workers and dug mostly by hand, which doesn't sound like it would be very effective. But built inside the city are schools, hospitals, farms, factories, theaters, warehouses, and living areas. The complex had water and gas-proof hatches, as well as huge concrete doors to protect those inside. Entrances were hidden in shops across Beijing's city center. It is known that some of these entrances are still operable, but few people know where they are. Beginning in 2018, a planned city will be constructed underneath the canals of Amsterdam. Lack of space has forced the local government to go underground, and they can only dig into the soft clay below the water, as the rest of the city was originally built on swampy marshland. At the cost of $14.4 billion, the underground complex will be home to sports stadiums, theatres, car parks, and commercial properties. Construction of the underground city is expected to take 20 years, but at least it confirms my suspicion that the Dutch are slowly becoming underground lizard people. If successful, this could spark a trend all across Europe, so maybe one day every city will be half underground. Kuba PD is an underground town in South Australia. It is located within an old opal mine that people moved into to avoid the hot Australian sun. On the surface, Kuba PD looks like a long abandoned plot of land, but below the surface live over 2,000 people. So it's no surprise that the underground town features many houses and hotels, as well as a pub, a casino, several museums, and a rather beautiful underground church complete with a creepy graveyard. Which isn't that weird really. I mean, all graveyards are underground when you think about it so I guess there's no need for them to bury the dead in Kuba PD. They could just dump the bodies in the casino. Bad for tourism, though. Under the streets of Bucharest in Romania is a dark network of sewer tunnels, and inside this huge network lives a community of HIV-infected drug addicts. The entrance to the city is a hole in the ground in the middle of a busy road, the story behind this community is sad. After communism fell in Romania, thousands of orphan children were left without care. Coming together, they took to the sewers for shelter. They grew older and had children of their own, and the hellish underground city grew from there. The city actually has a king. It is run by Bruce Lee, who gained his name through engaging in brutal street fights. Just days ago, Bruce Lee was arrested on charges of drug dealing and every member of the city was evicted from the tunnels. 
an event that can only be described as the fall of history's most noble civilization. Underneath the Canadian town of Moose Jaw is a network of hidden tunnels. The tunnels were built in 1908 for Chinese workers to hide from racist authorities. At the time, the Canadian government introduced a special tax just for Chinese immigrants, so people started digging to avoid the tax. And as time went on, people started bringing their entire families, which led to the creation of the underground city. During the Prohibition era, the railway line connecting Moose Jaw to Chicago was used to import illegal booze. This combined with Moose Jaw's high number of casinos and brothels led it to being known as Little Chicago. The tunnels were recently rediscovered after being abandoned and forgotten about. Montreal's underground city is a huge underground complex spread over 4.5 square miles. And inside this huge complex you would see multiple shopping malls, banks, museums, hotels, apartment buildings, seven metro stations, and a bus terminal. The city is so large that it has 120 access points, which are necessary in the winters when 500,000 people enter the underground city daily. Mat Mata is an underground town in Tunisia. The town was created by digging large pits into the ground and then digging into the pit walls to create houses. These houses are connected to other structures by underground tunnels. Until 1967, the only people who knew about the town were those who lived there, but that year 22 days of rain caused serious damage to Mat Mata. The residents appealed to the government of Tunisia for help. The authorities were surprised to learn of the town's existence, but did help to rebuild it. Which makes me wonder if there might be other underground cities the Tunisian government doesn't know about. Maybe every country has underground cities that we don't know about. In 1976, Mat Mata was used as the filming location for Luke Skywalker's home planet in Star Wars. Because of this, the town has become a popular, yet terrible tourist attraction. It's just a hole in the ground. The underground city of Derinkuyu is an ancient underground multi-level city located in Turkey. The city is large enough to house 20,000 people along with their livestock and supplies, which is impressive for a structure that could have first been built in the 8th century BC. After being lost to time, Derinkuyu was rediscovered in 1963 during the renovation of a nearby house. A cave passage was opened to reveal a structure stretching 280 feet into the ground. The city is facilitated by 13 stories of ventilation shafts and is seen as an achievement in engineering equal to the construction of the pyramids. No one knows what forced the people of Derinkuyu to live underground, but it was almost certainly to hide from their rivals. The city entrances are guarded by 1,000 pound stone doors that can only be opened or closed from inside the tunnels. Known to some as Wiltshire's secret underground city, Burlington is a once-secret Cold War city built 100 feet underground. Constructed by the British government in the 1950s, its purpose was to be the residence of 4,000 government officials in the event of a nuclear war. The city was so secret that most of the officials who were given accommodation on the site didn't even know of its existence. The underground city was never used, but still contains living spaces, hospitals, warehouses, workspaces, 60 miles of roads, and even an underground lake. Burlington was operated for 30 years until the end of the Cold War in 1991, and finally decommissioned in 2004. The city was then put up for sale with organizations competing to buy it. One of such organizations wanted to turn Burlington into Europe's biggest wine cellar. And so that brings us to the end of our list on underground cities. These videos take a long time to produce, so I really appreciate every like, comment, share, and new subscriber.